ever wondered how to turn a famous historical figure, or even your great-grandmother, into a full-blown animated video? I've made thousands of videos across every style you can imagine, and today, I'm pulling back the curtain on the simplest way to bring history to life through storytelling and animation. And no, you don't need to know how to draw, animate, or even write scripts from scratch. I'll show you the exact steps I use to create an animated video on Helen Keller, and how you can do this for your own family, school projects, or even a YouTube or TikTok series. Let's dive in. To start the process off for today's video, I came to ChatGPT. What I had in mind was an idea for making a historical story. I thought that I could probably use the same process to also create stories based on relatives, friends, or historical figures' lives. Inside ChatGPT, I asked it to give me some information about Helen Keller, then lay it out into a semi-script with historical points, etc. It gave me lots of tips. I asked it to dig further, and it even gave tips on music and more. Eventually, I got it to help me put it all together. And it did. Now that I've created a good script, I'm ready to go on to the next step. Okay, it's time to start creating images. I'm in ImageFX. It's completely free. So basically, you put your prompt right here, and then you can choose video size here. I'll choose landscape. Then, click generate. Let's make one together. I'm going to click on I'm feeling lucky. Let's see what it gives us. It always makes four images. So here's a frozen mosquito. Just look at the detail. That is amazing. You can download it here. So definitely come in here and experiment. Let me show you some of the images I've already created for this project. If you click here, it will flip it and show you all the information if you need it. So I've made all my images. Now I'm ready to go on to the next step. Now I'm in Eleven Labs. It's time to record my voices. I've already done this for my video, but I'll show you how I did it. First, if you go to text to speech, this is where you actually put your text to be recorded. Then you choose your voice. If you're not sure which voices to use or how to choose voices, come over here and click on the voice panel. You'll see all kinds, so look through here and listen to them. There's lots, so take your time, choose the one you like, and then come back to text to speech. This is where you actually put it all together in this example. You can see my voice. Once you're ready to go, all you need to do is to click generate speech. Once it's done, download it. And that's how simple it is. Basically, just put your text in here, choose a voice, hit generate, listen to it, and then download. If there is a problem, re-record it. Now I'm ready to go to the next step. Now I'll create my mini videos from my images. I went to Google and I checked for Google AI Studio. That's where I'm at now. Get an account, then log in. Next, go to generate media. I'll choose VEO. You can put in text here to create your videos, but I'm going to add an image to make mine. For this example, I'll upload this image. There it is, and I'll add a prompt here. Now click Run. But before you do that, check out the choices over here. You can choose one or two. You can choose Landscape or Portrait. You can also choose five to eight seconds. Then click Run. You can make five or six videos a day using this free tool. Okay, here it is. Click here to make it bigger. Notice there's no watermark. All right, that looks very good. I'll download it here. Make sure you always download these because if you don't hook this up to your Google Drive, you will lose them. And that's how you do it. Just do the same process over and over for each of your images and then you'll be ready to continue. I'll show you another way I often make videos. I also use this tool called Design and I really like it. It does a great job making videos. Once you're in here, you can do is come over here to Image to Video. Click on that and then here is where you would actually create your video. You can also choose from any of these video generators. Another tool I really like is Free Pick. I use it a lot. Now I'm in the video section. You can see I've already created many videos in here. If you click this one, you can see the prompt and more. It also includes a lot of video generators to choose from. No matter what tool you use, once you're done converting your images to videos, it's time to go on to the next step. Now I'm in Canva, and this is the last step for this video. I'll show you how to put it all together. Come to Canva. Log in, then choose YouTube video or video. Then click on Landscape. It'll open a page like this. Inside my Uploads area, you'll see my image, video, and audio sections. To add something to this, it's very simple. I'll grab an image and pull it in right into my Upload section. You can do the same thing if you were adding a video or audio file, so you just drag it into Canva. If you want to add this to a page, just click on the page, go back to Uploads and pick an image and click on it like that. 
then just stretch it to fill the page. If you want to add a video, you do basically the same thing. Watch this. If I hover in between two pages, I can add a new page or I can add a transition. If I want transitions, I can choose from any of these. Now there'll be a nice dissolve there. And that's how you do all that. Now I'll show you the full video I've already made. This is it. It has a lot of pages. You can also see the voices, sounds, and more down here. Each page is a short mini video. I put each of these on a separate page with transitions between. I also made sure that my audio matched the video. Then, once it was done, I went to File, to Download, made sure MP4 was chosen, and clicked Download and now you know how I did it. If you want to make one of these about someone in your family, or a good friend, or as a gift, now you know the process. And if you love finding out about crazy cool AI tricks before everyone else, subscribe now so you're the first to know when new AI tools drop. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching.